Canadian journalism is in crisis. Over the past several years, our country's lost a third of journalism jobs, and in the past year alone, we've lost 50 community newspapers. Here's the problem. As more and more people are reading their news online, advertisers aren't spending their money in traditional mediums like print, radio, and TV. That means we're literally trading dollars for digital dimes. The kind of revenue that comes in from online advertising is a tiny fraction of what we used to get from traditional ads. To make matters worse, the lion's share of that digital revenue is going to companies like Google and Facebook. So the money's not even staying in the country. It's going south of the border into their coffers of Silicon Valley. When we have advertising revenue that's declining that dramatically, what we're left with is impoverished newsrooms. We're gonna have more layoffs of reporters. We're gonna have more newspapers closing. And we're gonna have fewer and fewer stories, stories that you need to hear, stories holding political cheats to account and exposing consumer ripoffs, stories that help hold our very fabric of democracy together. Quality journalism isn't cheap, but we can't afford a future without it. When you factor in journalism salaries and all the legal fees behind it, your basic beat story can cost as much as $331. An opinion piece can cost as much as $700. And if you want to do a deep dive investigative piece, that can cost nearly $11,000. That's why the Media Action Plan is calling on government to help save local news. Here's a few things they can do to help. We want to change tax laws to help bring in advertising revenue back into Canada. That'll help stop money going south of the border to Google and Facebook. Two, we want to give people tax breaks when they subscribe to their favorite newspapers or their local news sites. We also want to make donations to news publications tax deductible. Tell your member of parliament where you stand. Go to mediaactionplan.ca and help save local news.